welcome back. Now we're going to get introduced to the uh, letter position. Um, the Arabic alphabet, as we said earlier, there are 28 letters. And you've been introduced to the isolated form of the Arabic alphabet. When you write Arabic, you would not write, for example, the letters just like that, just like you've been introduced to them. This would be just like any computer. How would a computer write Arabic if it does not have the Arabic software installed in it? But Arabic letters, they do get connected to each other. And they would just look like something like that. So I'm going to show you how each one of the Arabic alphabet gets uh, a different shape in, in three different uh, positions. So we're going to... I'm going to show you now, we're going to do the isolated form. So the isolated letter. And then we're going to get introduced to the initial form. Medial form. And final form of the letter. So if we start with Alif. This is the isolated form of Alif. Alif. And I'm going to mark certain alphabets and I'll show you I'll, I'll I'll show you why I'm marking them. So Alif. Alif. When you write at the beginning it stays as it is. Alif. In the middle it connects to any letter before it, but nothing after it. That's why I'm marking it. You, When you connect the uh, alif to the words or the letters, you connect it to the letter before, but to nothing after it. So I'm going to put a cross right here, and I'm going to put, put a check. It means you have to connect it to the right side, but not connected to the left side. The final form also takes the same shape. So you connect it before, but you do not connect it after. Alif. Then we have B. B. When you start, you just do one and straight. You keep this straight. You don't curve it. Why it stays straight? Because it needs to be connected to other letters. And you put the dot right underneath the stick. B. In the middle, because it connects to before and after. So you keep that line here. You put this, the little tooth, as I call it, of the B. And then you keep it straight again. And you put the dot right underneath this. Do not put it in the middle. You can only put it in the middle when it when it's in the isolated form. But the rest, you have to keep it like that. The final form, you take the line because it gets connected to anything before it. But at the end, it keeps the final form. B. 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 As soon as you know how the ba is written, it's easier for you to know te and fe because they all take the same shape except the placement of the dots uh, or the number of the dots is different. So you start te, same way as ba, but you put the two dots right on top. In the middle, Right there, at the end, same way. You connect it, then you curve it, or you put the shape as the isolated form, because it happens at the end. Te, te, and then se. Three dots. Three, and then takes 
the three dots again. Alif, ba, ta, fa. And then we have jim. I'm going to write uh, the jim, ha, and kho, because all of the three, three of them, they have the same shape, except the number of dots or the placement of the dot. There is only one dot. The placement of the dot is different. So, jim, look how I'm starting it from here, here, and instead of curving it down, I keep it straight because I need to connect it. Jim, jim. In the middle, I put the connecting line before it, and then I write my jim, same way I started, the little curve, and then I keep it straight because I need to connect it to another letter after, and I put the dot. The end, because it's the final form, I just write the jim as it is in the isolated, but I connect it to a line before it. And it's this, the same similar form for the ha, same way. And then ha does not have a dot. The kha, kha. Kha, and then kha. Mm -hmm. And then we start with the dal. So remember that I marked I marked alif up here, and I showed you that it gets connected to the letters before, but to no letter afterwards. Here's another one that goes with the alif. Or it uh, functions like the elif, which is the del. And I mark it again. I'm going to mark it. Del. So del at the beginning, just the same way. Nothing gets added to it. In the medium form, you connect it to before, but to nothing after. Same thing as the elif we said about elif. It gets connected to the letter, any letter before it, but to nothing after it. And then the final form, just like that. Okay? You connect it before, but you don't connect it after. And then we have vel. Del and vel. Same way. It gets connected before. In the medial form and the final form, but to nothing after. I'm going to mark it as well. So far we got alif, del, and del that do not get, get connected on both sides. On both sides. So del, del, and then ra, and zin, because they both have the same shape. They function like del and vel and elif. You start your word with it, it stays as it is, does not connect to anything after. In the middle, it connects to letters before. I'm sorry, this shouldn't be here. You connect it to anything before, but you don't connect it to anything after. This is a ra. Just excuse that up right there. And then the zine, same way. Zine. Z. Z. And it goes same way here. R. And zine. <coughs> they don't get connected, excuse me, to anything after, but they do get connected to letters before them. Okay? So far we've got. Alif, ba. I'm going to zoom out so you can see it. Yeah, we've got alif, ba, ta, fa, jim, ha, kha, and then del, vel, ra, and zin. 
for the rest of the letters let me take a different one okay so I'm going to show you now the other ones which is seen seen so the isolated form I'm going to remember that again so isolated form seen when you write it at the beginning just write it the three uh, teeth as I call them or draw them and then keep the line straight because it needs to connect to anything after it and then you've got in the middle medial form you start with the connecting line then you end with the connecting line then the final form you start with the connecting line and then you just end it with the isolated form of the scene and Sheen takes the same position but with three dots you start you connect it before and after you connect it before and you end the word with the isolated form of Sheen then you've got sod sod you connect it before See that little knot? Do not make it obvious. Just a little connecting uh, knot. And then the isolated form, sod. Same shape as dod, da, da, and then da. For to, the isolated form, to, you make the connecting line, so it connects to after and before, to, and it just stays as the isolated form at the end. We go to the, make the connecting line a little bit obvious. Connect it before and after, and then it takes the isolated form at the end. That's the, the. So, so, da, ta, and the. And this one you have to be a little bit careful with the ein now. Ein, see how it is at the isolated form? When you start the word, you just keep that half circle and keep it straight. When you do the medial form, you're going to draw a shape of an upside down triangle. You see how I did it? I started from here and I went up, went again right and went down and that's the ayn. That's the middle form. The final form, the same upside down triangle because it gets connected. See, I'm starting here, going up going right and then going down and getting the, the tail of, of the regular eye. So be careful with this one right here. It's an upside down triangle. Right here we've got rein and it takes the same shape. You start with it this way in the middle upside down rein and the end rein. And the, the, the triangle does not close, it's just because the sharpie is thick. But if let me show you to you with a thinner. So if you're writing it, you would go this way, that way, this way, and here it is. And same here. Right. So the the space between in the triangle is showing. Rein. And then we have F. Fe. You don't curve it, you keep it straight. Fe. In the middle, you just do the line and then you write it again, keep it straight. And then at the end, then when you do the curve. Fe. Same thing as cough. You start with the cough. 
straight, no curve. In the middle, you keep the same shape of the cough. I'm oh, sorry, yes, this should go straight. And then here, that's when you do the curve. So again here, straight, no curve, straight, no curve, straight, straight. And then we have calf. This is an interesting one because it changes. <laughs> when you put it in isolated form, it's like that. When you start, watch. You do like this. And you do like that. It's like a, a disfigured Z. <laughs> but um, you just start with the stick like that. And then you bring it down here. And I'm going to write it one more time so you can see it. See this way? And then I go down. Calf, calf. In the middle, you write it this way again. I usually start with the stick, then I do the, the little thing so it becomes easier. And then you do like that, and then this way. Or you can start either way, from top down, or you do the stick, and then you, you do the top part. At the end, you can either write it like that, and you curve this, or you write it just like the isolated form, whichever you're more comfortable with. You can either, you'll find it in scripts this way, but when you're writing in, in, on the computer, it would usually show you this shape. This one right here. Add the in the final form. And then we have five more letters to go. Let me show you. So we've got so you get lamb. See how it is? When you write it on the line and you start, it goes straight. Okay, in the middle, it connects, and it stays straight again, both sides. At the end, that's when you bring the curve back again. So that's the isolated form. And then we've got noon. Noon, it takes the same shape as bad, te, and tha. So you start with it this way. You put the dot right on top in the middle right on top at the end then when you bring bring that little shape at the end and then the ha huh, when you start you start the same way the connecting letter in the middle just do the connecting letter before and then you go straight at the end it changes it takes this form right here Remember this one right here. The ha. It takes this form. Look, I'm going to write it again. Ha. 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 And there's another shape, which is a circle, and I'll show you when this circle happens in other lessons. Um, and then we have wow. Wow again, just like alif. It gets connected to anything before it. So when you start, you don't connect it to nothing. In the middle, it gets connected to anything before it. Same thing as the final form. So you do connect, connect it to letters before, but nothing after. Letters before, but nothing after. And then we've got the ye. It's the same as beta tha noon. So you start this way. You write ya yeah here in the middle. Ya. Yeah. At the end, then you bring that curve. So I'm going to show you the letters that do not get connected, the ones that I marked. So you always have to be careful with them. They do get connected in the medial form to anything after, uh, before. Again, before but nothing after. So we start Elif, Del, 
ذال را زين ان واو الف دال ذال را زين ان واو they do get connected in the medial form to anything before but to nothing after and what I mean before is when you start from right to left from right to left so you start in the elif here elif goes here but you don't write anything to it after it and that will be all for the letter positions shukran